All right, can everybody take a couple steps back? Everyone, everyone. just can you back up a little bit? Get, get the front and kneel down. And then the back or if you want to sit on the floor and have an old-fashioned conversation with people that you'll never meet again. <laughs> back, back off, boogaloo, as they say. <laughs> That's right. Everybody sit down like hippies. Make your fancy clothes dirty and sit down. Sit at the feet of the gods. Everybody, everybody got it. Seriously, everybody. <laughs> Sit at the feet of the gods. We're doing a show now. Hi. Bye. All right, All everyone. Right. Thank you for coming. It's been a lot of work, but uh, we turned one today. So <laughs> it, it's been a long but fun road, and uh, we had to do something special for today, so we brought Lee and Hollywood Lawn in from New York. Well, Lee came in from New York. Holly came from Hollywood. Go Where figure. else? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, thank you all for coming. We're going to open up a Q&A with, uh, with Lee and Holly right now. So just kind of be patient. We're going to try and get everybody we can, but uh, don't about. yell stuff out. I'll, you know, raise your hand and I'll point at you and you just ask away. Hi, Lee. How, how may I help you? <laughs> Want to introduce yourself? I have a microphone? Yeah, you're going to have this one. Oh, okay, fine. That's all I was curious about. I'm a little we hoarse. rehearsed you're this, little... Lee. Come on. All right, everyone, <laughs> say hi to Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Black. Like an intelligent question? Can you hear me at all? I can't hear me. Hello? Okay. Uh, I'm Lee Black Childers. And you are? Oh, oh, okay. I don't think I need this. <laughs> My name is Holly Woodlawn. <laughs> And I am not guilty. <laughs> that is somebody that was impersonating me. Anyway, I am so happy that Lee is staying with me. And <laughs> you have no idea. Unless you belong to the FBI or the CIA. Uh, I have known Lee for, God, 45 years. And I think you were like one of the first people that photographed me. When I oh, I was certainly one of the first people who photographed you. Uh, and it, I guess it could be 45 years. Can you imagine? Because I was straight up from Kentucky. She was straight up from um, Florida. And it was the 60s, darling. Sit the 60s. Yeah. No one thought we 62. were there to do anything at all. Well, I did. I got there first. <laughs> okay. So how did you guys meet? How did we meet? Okay, Lee, we rehearsed this. I told you we were gonna this. this was going to be asked. Uh, there's uh, his version, and then there's my version, and then there's the truth. Which one do you want to hear? Okay. All of them, I figured, yeah. Okay, first version, I'll make it quick. I had just gotten to New York, and I was kind of terrified. And I went to oh, Christopher shut up, I Street. Feel. I went to Christopher Street, and there were all these fabulous drag queens. Candy, and Jackie, and no, I. Candy, and darling, Jackie Curtis. And, and, and there is no easier way to make a new friend than to have a camera around your neck <laughs> and go up to a drag queen. Otherwise, we would have hung and, you. And so there's one, this one wonderful drag queen named International Crisis. Oh, remember her day? Oh, people know of her. How fabulous. And... Um, so she, I said, can I photograph you? And she said, well, come over to my apartment on Hudson Street. And in those days, there was this boarding house on Hudson Street where, where the bedrooms were, it was just one room. 
and it was a tiny room with just a bed in it. And so I went there and Tracy said, I have to go down to the bathroom for a minute. I'll be right back. And so I was sitting on her bed and under the bed I heard this scrabbling noise. And I thought, well, it's Hudson Street. Oh, I told you not <laughs> to say that. <laughs> what, you told me not to say it? <laughs> About 300 people. <laughs> and out crawled Holly with little dust bunnies caught in her hair. And she said, I can't find my shoes. And that's the first time I met Holly in my memory. Now you can tell And they were the only pair of shoes I had, the silver shoes. <laughs> they were. The silver shoes that I wore in trash, if anyone, you know, I mean, you're like what? How many generations? Generations? Your, your grandparents. So trash. But uh, uh, that's how we met. All I remember is the first time is that uh, him and uh, Wayne County came and they had an apartment and Jackie Curtis and I were, we had no place to live. In other words, we were living in the gutter. Oh, and like so he let us stay with... More attractive than mine. I, at least I put you indoors. I mean, they came to see the Woodstock, uh, you know, uh, Woodstock. And they all, since they were all from the South, they all plopped in his house. And there was Jackie Curtis and I. Um, that was enough. Curtis, doing her laundry, was jumping into the bathtub, fully dressed, and uh, taking her clothes off and hanging it up. And she washed herself and did her laundry. So two in one. Hey, that called economy. And we would go to Max's Kansas City. That's where Han Andy uh, Warhol would hang out. And he had his own table, his own. Uh, uh, Patty Smith used to go there. Uh, Jim Morrison. Oh, that's the story. You should get my book. When Jim Morrison and I had a date together. Oh, yeah. He's a good kisser. Well, I should say he was a good kisser. But anyway, uh, that's how we all met. We just sort of like, none of us had any money. We were like living, uh, we ate at Max's. And uh, when uh, Paul Morrissey asked me to do well, you people in the back, kindly, like, just lower your tone. Shut up! Because Shut the people... Up! Oh, I love Shut it. Up! Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up! Now, that's what I say. Thank you. Because over here, they're really interested. And you guys, you know, go, go next door. Go next door! Shut up! Oh, yay! Get, go, get, get your knives out and everything, you know what? <laughs> You want to make the news? <laughs> That's the only way, honey. Cause the commotion. Uh, but I, first of all, when Lee called me up, I mean, I'm, I'm changing the subject, but Lee called me up and said, Holly, I'm having um, uh, this uh, uh, a, a gallery. They're showing my photographs. Uh, I said, oh, God, yeah. So I immediately I said, Honey, you're staying with me. So he's been at my apartment for the past five days, and we have not left it. I've we been have just sleeping. been lying there, sleeping, and just talking about the old days. And, you know, and, uh, but I kind of collapsed. He used to live here. So, you know, like, ugh, just buy a couple of postcards. <laughs> and just say, oh, yeah, it's still the same. Yeah, so come on. Let's All right, up, uh, questions. Right. Who, who's got the first one? Who's got a question? Uh, right. Miss Mercy. Oh, Miss Mercy, my darling. She, 
I was living in Shreveport, Louisiana many, many years ago, and there was just a knock on the door in Shreveport, Louisiana. And there stood Miss Mercy. And she said, I've come to visit. And I said, we're in the South, honey. Come right in. Actually, actually, is this on? I, uh, I uh, worked on some uh, hair that, of some boys that this master brought over. And uh, the first thing they said was, we want to go to Shreveport. And I had a friend called Tom Errors who brought them over there. He was an angel. An angel. God bless him, R.I.P. The two questions I have there, too, is the doubleheader. Um, first of all, did you all know a dude that's kind of like really famous, Maxwell Jacobson? Not Dr. Roberts, but oh. Jacobson. Oh, okay, you didn't know him. All right, nobody gets that. Okay, did you know my good, good, good friend, <laughs> my good, good friend Chuck Wine? Chuck Wine. Chuck Wine. Oh, I haven't heard his name in a while. No, 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 no. Chuck Wine that that was with Edie Cedric. That um, I think he directed a the a Chow Manhattan. You remember Holly? Nobody remembers. Um. No, I didn't know Chuck Wine, but I am a, I am a wino. No, no, darling, please. Don't misunderstand me. I love my wine. Um, Cedric, wasn't it? But uh, as far as any Cedric was concerned, I I came, as far as the, uh, uh, the Warhol factory, um, I considered like... Uh, I'm into Egyptology. So like the first dynasty, <coughs> the middle dynasty, and the late dynasty. I came in after she died, so I, I don't know anything about Edie Sedgwick at all. No. All right, does that answer your question? <laughs> all right, who's got another question? All right, you. How did you like working with the New York Dolls, Lee? Did you work with the New oh, York Dolls? Yes, I did work with the New York Dolls. I worked more with the Heartbreakers afterwards, which was half the New York yeah. Dolls. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the first time when I had done Andy Warhol's Pork, which is a play we did in London in 1971. And um, when it was over in the fall of 1971, and we were all going back to New York, the whole cast, and everyone was saying, what's gonna happen to us now? What's gonna happen to us now? Well, it was only 1971 and we were about two years old. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen to us now? <laughs> and so I got back and I just picked up the phone book and looked up 16 Magazine, which you are all too young to remember. No. And um, I called them up and I said, I need a job. And they said, come down and see us. So I went down and saw them and they said, okay, can you start today? And so I went to work immediately for 16 Magazine, which was this real teen magazine. Nothing to do with 16, it had to do with eight. <laughs> and um, and we did David Cassidy and Donny Osmond and all those kind of people did. And um, then I got, and the editor was this wonderful la lady named Gloria Stavers, and she began to teach me the business so beautifully. And um, so then... Melody Maker, which, is, which was an English music publication, called me and said, will you be our, uh, our photographer? And there's this new band, will you go photograph them for us? And so I went down onto the Lower East Side into their little loft apartment. Do you want to hear me or not? Yeah. Can everyone just 
Shut the fuck up. We want to hear these guys talk. They came from very far. <laughs> no one wants to hear you guys. Keep it down, and we want to hear what they're saying, please. And, and so, um, so I went down to their their flat on the their loft on the Lower East Side, and they were the weirdest. And I'd been through weird already. <laughs> and uh, they were the weirdest looking boys I'd ever seen, because they weren't drag queens, but they were wearing women's clothes but they were not in, at all trying to impersonate women in any way. Those are our backup girls. And uh, I didn't know what to do with them, so I did their first real photo session where I just crowded them into their closet and took this picture of them. Oh, yes, it's over there, right on the wall. Where am I? And, um, <laughs> and they became very good friends of mine. She calls me up and she says, turn on the radio. And I go, at 2.30 in the morning? What are you, nuts? <laughs> I turn on the radio and I hear the doom, 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 doom. Do you want to join in? Hardy <laughs> came from Miami, FLA. Eyebrows all the way, shake the leg. Now she was she. Said, hey, babe, take your walk on the one side. I said, hey, sugar, take your walk on the one side. And the color girls go. the door without help now. But my advice is always say yes. 